Hello from Northern California for the fifth time. <laughs> Wait, is this the fourth or the fifth time? I think this is the fourth. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Oh, my. Oh, me, oh, my. Four times. Whoever said third time was a charm, they were wrong. Hello, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> this is so annoying for me. I'm sure for you guys, too. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy me again. I probably should have titled it the same thing, but I didn't. It's too late to change it now, huh? Oh, I have such pretty things tonight, too. All right, anyone, if you're on here, leave me a message. There we go. Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are back. Thank you for hanging in there with me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank you, ladies. Yeah, welcome back. It seems a little bit better, maybe. Hopefully. I think it might be. Because I noticed the last few times if I moved, it was very, like, delayed almost. Okay. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus. Come on and help me today. <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness gracious. You know what I wish I had was some apple cider. I had some. I know you do, Lydia. I know. I know you do. And I'm, uh, Lydia, you are so patient um, and you have such uh, tenacity, which means you don't give up. And I, I really, and I'm normally that way too, but I think it's because I had a long day today that I'm like, oh, <laughs> Oh, thanks, Gianna. <laughs> so silly, huh? Well, I tried to get on StreamYard and it would let, wouldn't let me. So I thought, hmm, maybe I'll go back to YouTube. <laughs> Hi, Barbie. <laughs> Anyways, I started decorating for fall a little bit, barely. You get, well, you guys haven't seen the video of my living room because I haven't done it. I haven't uploaded it yet. But I did a little bit. There's a pumpkin there. I can't really see it because um, it's white. And I, I need to change those pictures, but it's white. And a picture with like a orange, um, what are they called? Sunflowers and a little candle. And I love these pumpkins. I love them. You can paint them. And I just did some burlap on the top. And I have a ton of these. They, I just love that light white look. Okay, guys, we're back. I better get on it before it starts up again, huh? Okay. As I was saying, this African amethyst, as you can see, it's like a, I think they call it a um, rounded off barrel bead. It, they're huge. They're about an inch in, almost an inch in length. Let me double check. And let's see. Yeah, they're an inch. These are African amethysts. They're nice and dark purple. That's what you want. Um, well, if they're coming out of Africa, that's the mostly high, highly desired amethyst is the dark purple. 
and it's stretchy. It's a stretchy bracelet. You can see all the veining in it. Isn't that beautiful? Just gorgeous. I mean, I guess someone could take this apart and maybe make a necklace out of it or, you know, break it apart if they wanted to. But it's $30. It is new. It's really nice grade of amethyst. Just beautiful. 30 and it's yours. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys, for coming back. I appreciate it because I know that's a pain. And I know you guys go through it too, but gosh, it seems like I just got on. And it. <laughs> I can understand after an hour or so, but wow. Okay, so let me move on from that. And if someone buys that, I do have the um, carrots written down too. Thank you. So this next one is green agate, and it has like a bolo style tie to tighten it up. Oh, let me put it on the bigger mannequin. Okay, so this is green agate. Uh, they are hand carved beads, and I think they're triple knotted. They are triple knotted in between each bead. And then you have the slice of the geode. Isn't that pretty? It's kind of boho. Then you see the outer part, which is the host rock. And you see all the layers. Isn't that pretty? Um, these are hand carved beads. And it is the bolo tie tightening. So you can tighten it or loosen it. And then you have the beads you can put at the end if you want um, to be decorative if you have your hair up or something. So you have the beads at the bottom if you want. So this can range in size and length, I mean, uh, 20 to maybe, gosh, 30 inch and this one is only going to be $20 20 dollars 20 I think in Italian it's bent no bent 20 20 but it's 20 euros <laughs> you know I only say this because I really want to move to Italy <laughs> so bad So that's the geode, the slice of the geode, and really beautiful color. It's green agate. Then you have the hand carved beads that are triple um, knotted in between. Really nice touch with that. And it is a bolo tie, um, bolo style tie, so. You can make it, you know, longer as long as you want. And then you have the little ends that have the beads. So you can make it just 20 inch to like 30. And it is $20. And this is new. Isn't that pretty? And I love that they left a little bit. Can you see the edges are clear? So that's the host rock. Isn't that pretty? So 20 on that one. Okay. And next one. Maybe I should have titled it differently, huh? Because I don't know if you guys found me by me just saying me again. <laughs> Let me ask my friend, hold on. Thank you. OK, 
Okay. This next one is um, red halite, and it is stainless steel chain. It's a really nice design. So it's a bunch of red halite, nice cabochons. And then the chain part is textured. I don't know if you could see that. And then the back part is also, oh, you didn't get a notification. Interesting. Maybe because my title, Megan, <laughs> I don't know. It's all stainless steel. So this one is, uh, I believe, let me measure, I think it's like a 24 inch. Let me double check. Well, we'll call it a 20 inch because it's got the curvature here. So we'll say 20 inch. And this one is $20, two zero. No notice either, okay. I think YouTube hates me. Uh, much better though streaming, okay. So red halite, stainless steel. Look how pretty, all these cabochons. And then you've got three teardrops. This one here and here, this is all articulated, the teardrops. Isn't that pretty? And this one's 20. Isn't that nice? Okay, 20 on that one. I actually forgot I had this necklace. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let me see if I can. I don't know why it didn't notify you guys, but um, Pam, I got your message. I tried to figure that out and it, I just couldn't figure it out on my end on the webcam. I don't know why, but I couldn't. I hope I'm not waking her, but it is Friday night, right? It's Friday night. Thank goodness, too. Thank goodness. All right. Um, okay, let me show you guys. These beauties. Okay, this is very delicate and dainty. Yeah, I definitely want to show that. I definitely want to show this. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks, guys, for coming back. I know it's a pain. I do have some Brighton, but, you know, it's I'm not a Brighton um, I, I, aficionado, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's not marked that I can tell, but it certainly looks like it. So I'm, I'm going to say possibly. Yes, we got to show that. Hey, what's my ring you doing in here? I'm going to wear it. There we go. No. I'll wear this one. Both of my rings are in here. I don't know why they... I don't know. I'm not going to wear them though right now. All right. So let me get all of it out. So I can show you guys. I'll probably redo the title just so people know, you know, it's me again. Okay. Gosh, I have so much. That's why this is so irritating. 
I don't know if anyone wants to see a ruby, um, gold, diamond, or, uh, yeah, diamond pendant necklace. But I love the color of this ruby. It's not that really dark, dark red, which I'm not a, f or bright red. It's more of a pinkish red, and I like that. Um, it is 14, is it 14 carat? Let me see. Let me show you guys first. Isn't that pretty? Hi, everyone again. <laughs> oh, good. And buffering? Is it buffering again? Oh, just on Susan's side. Okay. Uh, okay, so it is... Um, I believe it was 14 karat gold or, hold on, let me double check. It is, I believe, 10 karat, maybe 14. Now I don't remember. And, uh... I don't want to say, but gosh, it's so pretty. I'll have to test it again. I don't believe I didn't write it down. I think it's either 10 or 14, but I forgot to write it down. Anyways, I'm going to show it to you. Here's the chain. And it is a really pretty ruby color. Now, I like that ruby color. See how it's almost pinkish? And it does have um, the diamonds. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. These are zircons. Zircons around it. But I got to test it because I don't remember if the um, gold is 14 or 10. But either way, because of the zircons and the ruby... Isn't that, Isn't that beautiful? Um, it is a 18 inch. Let me double check. And then I'll tell you the price. Oh, it's a, yeah, 18 inch. And it's so pretty. I'm not usually partial to the to rubies. Now this ruby is a nice ruby. I like that pinkish red. And then to have the zircons there, really nice touch. So it's either 10 or 14 karat gold. Rubies have gone up in price, that is for sure. Oh, wait, does it say right here? <laughs> oh, I can't see it. It's so tiny. My eyes are so bad. I'm going to have to retest it because I or look at it during the day. But if you guys are interested, I just cannot read that. Anyways, if you guys are interested, it is 75. Uh, rubies have really gone through the roof. Check the ruby exchange. You can see that they are very expensive. And then those are white zircons all around. Sort of like an infinity with like a different style. Isn't that beautiful? So 75 on that one. Thank you. I love the setting. I really do love the setting on this one. It's very feminine. Um, and I love the ruby color. That's what attracts me to this one. The ruby color. Okay. 75 on that one. And I don't know. I'll put that right there for now. Okay. This next one, we're going to switch gears. Um, this is a uh, jasper and turquoise and obsidian. 
Um, and it's, I believe it's just on a gold tone. Oh, I guess it's stainless steel with a gold tone. Okay. Um, really dainty and feminine. And it is, the size is 18 inch. Very feminine. So you have turquoise. Jasper, uh, turquoise is here. Picture Jasper up here. Um, some obsidian right here. And I don't know what that one is. I think this one is a Jasper also. But you've got obsidian and Jasper turquoise. Tur and it's just beautiful. Oops. This one, if anyone's interested, it's really dainty and beautiful. Very feminine. They are faceted beads. Isn't that beautiful? It's 15, if you guys are interested. One five. It is stainless steel. Hey, Lynn. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, there we go. 15 on this one. Picture Jasper, turquoise. Obsidian, 15. Lagging again. Oh. This is going to be the death of me. Maybe it was just not my night to be on. Oh, these are nice and cold. These are nice. Okay, this size of this one. Is a 23 inch. And it is um, agate. And oh, this is my dad. But they are cold too. I don't think they're white turquoise, but they are cold. Could be. They could be white turquoise. They are really cold. Interesting. This is a bit of an older piece. Not pretty. So I'm not sure about these. They could be white turquoise, but I'm not sure. The white beads. But this is all agate. There's some banded agate in here. Nice and chunky. Um, here's the clasp. Isn't that pretty? Am I buffering again? Oh my gosh. Um, really? I mean, I was watching Gianna today and she didn't have any trouble. Well, she had a, a just for a second. Yeah. Oh, buffering again. Okay. Well, I might just have to come on tomorrow then. Because, yeah, I think it has been one of those days. Maybe. Okay, so 20 on this one. And it very well could be the white turquoise, which they would call white buffalo, but I don't know. I'm not sure on this, on the white bead. So 20. Yes, that is Sarah. She's been squawking all night. Huh, Sarah? Huh, Chair Bear? Okay. <laughs> Here's a really pretty one. Come here. You want to come up here? Well, come here. 
Come here. Okay, you don't want to come up here? This is super... <laughs> come here. Come on. Come on, Chair Bear. And then I have Meatball down here, too. She's like, oh, are you going to let her up? Sarah, be nice to her. So this one um, has ceramic beads, um, tiger's eye, and um, some howlite. And do you see what I'm dealing with right here? I've got meatball right here. That's meatball right here. And then I've got Sarah. This is her tail. This is Sarah. And this is, this is meatball's tail. You guys have to get down. I, I don't know why you're being so needy. Meatball, get down. Get down. Sarah, you too. Get down. I know I said you could get up, but now Meatball thinks she can get up here too. Come on, Lou. Come on. Come on, little girl. <laughs> Look at her, you guys. She's so tiny. She is full grown. Her mom was as tiny as a kitten like this too. She's tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny. This is Meatball. <laughs> she was a fat little kitten though. <laughs> get down, baby doll. Come on, get down, get down. And Sierra, you too. If she can't be up here, you can't either. Hey, hey, babe. Okay. Let's see. Now I do have the Brighton um, bracelets. And I'm honestly not sure they're Brighton. Because there's no tag on it. I don't see the B. But it really looks like Brighton. And I really researched it. And I really think that it may be... Brighton, that is. Um, it is stainless steel. I know, I love my little black kitties. <laughs> oh, your phone rang? My phone just rang. It was my dad. He was, he was probably confused at all the streams I was just doing. So it's a magnetic clasp. It has a little heart. And it is uh, the twist rope. Isn't that pretty? And here's a magnetic. And this one is 20. If you guys are interested. This one, I believe, is also Brighton. I could not find the B, but I'm almost certain because I found some that look just like this. Also magnetic. This one's 15. I'm not really sure on this one. Actually, no, you know what? I'm not gonna sell this one. I see some fading on it on the right here on the magnetic part. See, it's like a little bit dull. Meatball. <laughs> Meatball, look, buddy. You guys cannot always be on my lap, okay? I love you all. Look how tiny she is. You're my little Halloween kitty. Halloween kitty. Huh, baby? You are, huh? You're so good looking. Say hello. Say hello. That's Sarah always hissing. Meepaw. Lou. 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 Oh, baby. 
Say hello. Look how tiny you are. Sarah, you're such a whiner. Okay, I'm not going to sell this one because I, I, there's some like uh, fading on it, so I don't know. But then there's that one. Okay. Then I have some turquoise and sterling earrings that have like a little bit of um, coral and then purple turquoise and blue turquoise. Isn't that pretty? She, I don't know what her problem is today, but she like has to be up here. Get down, you weirdo. Hello, get down, baby. Get down, meatball. They are so needy today. I don't know why. So they're dingle earrings. They are in a bezel with the braiding around the bezel. Here's the back. And these are 25. So we have the coral at the top, the purple turquoise, and then the blue turquoise. And then they are 25. <laughs> Lynn, you can have my black cats. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if I come on tomorrow morning, if it will be any different. Like, uh, you know, just with timing and all that. Are you guys still there? I haven't seen anyone comment. Am I buffering? I could be buffering. I don't know. Sarah. Sarah, you it's been one of those days, folks. Okay. Francis, you want them? Okay, thank you. Full moon. You're right. Is it really the full moon? That's probably what it is. And the black cats react to full moon. No, I don't know. I'm just kidding. I don't I really don't know. Thank you, Francis. Hold on. Uh, let's see, turquoise, blue, purple, coral, sterling earrings. Okay, thank you, Francis. Thank you. I got them, yes. Not the full moon yet, okay. Well... Who knows? It's a small size. Um, I can't make out their name though. It's like, uh, oh no, that's it. Just says Sterling. Okay. Oh, how cute! They try to double stamp it. It was a little bit off when they try to double stamp it. Okay, this one is very small. It is. It's so tiny. It's four and three quarters, four and three quarters. So Pam, if you're still on here, oh great, it'll be worse. <laughs> I don't know if you or your daughters are interested in something like this, but um, it's got the sawtooth uh, bezel. Sawtooth bezel. And uh it's black oxidized silver on the base the platform. And then they have the three dots that they have to put individually. And then these little swirls. And it does say sterling. They, it's so cute. They try to double stamp it. <laughs> I don't know if you could see that sterling. So it's a little darker on this side. It's a split band. Split shoulder band. But look how thick the turquoise is. This one is 35 if you are interested. 
Nice piece of turquoise there. And it's tiny. I mean, I don't know many people who have this small of a finger. <laughs> right size, but not really our style. Okay. Tiny, huh? I know. So teeny tiny. How does one... I mean, it only fits to here on my pinky. <laughs> but it's black oxidized silver on the platform. So if anyone's interested, 35. <laughs> okay. Next one. This one is, ooh, this is a good size. This is... Eight and three quarters. Um, it's got coral, purple turquoise, and blue turquoise with a little bit of opal uh, in between each and onyx. So it's inlaid work. <gasps> a size four. My goodness. Now this is, I know I said the size, but I remember, I remember this one being... Even though it says the size, or I'm looking at the size is eight and three quarters, it probably fits more true to a eight. Um, it does say sterling. It is Hallmark. So it has the coral on each end, uh, purple turquoise blue turquoise and in between each one is onyx and then the opal all inlaid i'm going slow it's not um slow motion <laughs> isn't that beautiful I love the opal in there. I don't know if you can see the opal. So beautiful. This is an eight. It actually, it feels like cigar band. So it feels like a small eight to me. Um, I think because it's so thick. There's no room for like, it's not a dome ring. But it's beautiful. If you guys are interested, it is on a platform. See how it has the raised bezel. Isn't that beautiful? This one is 50, five, zero. So coral, onyx, opal, onyx, purple, turquoise, and it repeats. And then I, I don't know who the Hallmark. I don't know the native who did this one because I didn't have a chance to look this one up. See, it's like almost like a peacock fan in there. Very thick silver. This one's 50. And I'm just saying, Francis, kind of goes with your earrings. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, it does. <laughs> okay, next ring. Um, yeah, we'll do this. Now, these are black sapphires. Um, this is in 14 karat gold. Oh, we double check. But I do, I actually do like this one a lot. It's either 14 or 18, and I forgot to write it down, but I can't read it right now. I, I didn't write it down. 
but they're black sapphires. And it's either 14 or 18 carat gold. They're still blue, but they're called black sapphire. Little pendant. And this is a big pendant. This one is about an inch in length. A little over an inch. Now, sapphires are expensive too. If you walked into Macy's or any of the fine jewelry stores, you're not going to get something like this for the price. So this one's six too because there's no um, inclusions. There's nothing wrong with lab. But this one, as I put it over my eye, this one's 60. All right, next one. Now this one I really like. This one fits like it's the true size, actually a little bigger. This one is eight and a quarter. And it is coral. This one's from the 60s. Um, it does have a sawtooth um, bezels and it's oxidized silver, eight and a quarter. So we have the coral with the sawtooth bezel, which is my favorite. Oxidized silver is a platform. Double band. It's a lot of silver. This one is from the 60s. Sorry, early 60s and I don't remember if there was a hallmark on it or not. Thank you. No, I don't think there was. This one's 50 also. Look how thick the silver is. It's a really thick silver. And this is also Native American. Typical for not being hallmarked because, well, uh, the reason is a lot of times the government would take the money from them if they made anything in the jewelry. And so they just stopped hallmarking it so they couldn't be tracked. So that's very typical. So 50 on that one, and it does have this... Not split, but it's um, actually it is two bands put together. And then you have the ball at the top meeting the disc. Okay. All right. Um, let's go with a, an abalone necklace next. This is, I love abalone. This is abalone, uh, mother pearl, and bugle beads. This looks um, rather new. It's a three strand, oops, there we go. Three strand. This is so pretty. So these can go kind of either way, the mother of pearl. Really pretty. So abalone. Mother of pearl. Mother of pearl and bugle beads in like a bronze. This one's 15 if anyone wants it. And the mother of pearl is really thick. Let's see. Meatball. <laughs> it's pretty thick. So I don't know why she keeps jumping up here. 15 on this one. Is the streaming better now? 
Is it buffering or anything? Or pixelating? Just say no if it's not. I hope it's not. <laughs> Okay, thank you. A little better. I I don't know. I'm gonna remove a lot of things from my laptop too. Maybe that's part of it. Hmm. I mean I restarted it, but it could be it could be my laptop. It could be my my modem looks good. But I'm gonna have to check my um, my what is it called when you check the speed? You know, like your speed on your internet. That could be slowed down. Sometimes um, the internet, how it was set up, people try to split into my internet, so they take my internet, <laughs> um, and they don't know not that it's happening, of course, but it's just whomever hooks it up. Bitrate, that's right, bitrate. Mm. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, well, we're going to keep plugging along until... Until... Oh, excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I have this gorgeous pin I got to show you guys. It's copper, beautiful fish. It is handmade, and it's called, the person signed it, Shell Heart. Look at this. Uh-oh. I love copper. I almost thought about keeping this because I was a marine biology major, but I thought of wearing it as a pendant. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It's copper, oxidized copper. And probably um, CZ in there. It is signed. This one is 10, if anyone's interested. And copper, you guys, is really climbing in price, too. But look at the beautiful color combination with the copper and the CZs. Really pretty combination. Thank you. <laughs> I really like it. I think it's. Yeah, really pretty. I mean, the work on the fins. This is vintage, too. And by his gills, all of those are dots that they have to put on one by one. Okay. Next thing, buddy, do you have to growl at everybody? Huh? I really rather you didn't. All right, this is a signed brooch. Um, I don't remember who it's by. CJ. No. Um. MJ, MJ, uh, it's stainless steel. It's a little seahorse. Once again, by MJ, right here by my nail, MJ. Let me see. This one is 15. It is a pendant and a brooch. Isn't that cute? See, now the cats are leaving me alone. I don't know what their deal was earlier. <laughs> so annoying. Okay, this one I think is by, also by MJ. Also a pendant brooch. Um, yep, MJ. It's a palm tree. Look 
coconut palm tree, and it's a brooch and a pendant. These are stainless steel. This one is eight dollars. So it's kind of cool. The two of them. This one's ten, and the palm tree is eight. Okay. Both by M J. so much you guys but I, I'm fearful that it's going to start well I, I know it's pixelating I almost think it's useless <laughs> because if it's still pixelating it's six it's a Spanish uh, Salamanca fire opal and Cambodian zircon platinum over sterling um, it's a size 5 and it's 0.43 carats. I'm going to show it. Thanks, guys, for all the thumbs up, by the way. I appreciate it. Um, we're going to do a giveaway here in a second. Isn't that pretty? So it is a Spanish oh, fire opal, Salamanca. Um, you see the interlocking band here? It is platinum over sterling. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen. I, someone's ears perked up. <laughs> And those are Cambodian zircons around the um, fire opal. This one is a size six, and the clearance um, on this one is 45. 45 on this one. That for the zircons and the fire opal is really good. Really good price. And it's beautiful. Really love the work on the band, too. That's really nice work. And then you see the white zircons. Really nice. <laughs> you're having a giveaway? <laughs> oh, you're having a giveaway. Okay. Well, I'll go check out your channel. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, let me do a giveaway now. All right, this is a brand new, it's pretty nice. Um, it came with my purse, but I just never used it. It's pretty thick vinyl. Guys, I don't buy leather. Be well, I did the other day in a doll, but um, that was for my dad. Um, anyways, for purses and shoes and whatnot. Gosh, my hair is just so weird today. Um, I don't. But this was attached to my purse. It's like a wristlet. So you just put it around your wrist, you know, when you're heading to the store real quick. And you can put your ID back here. It's vinyl. Your ID or credit card or debit card. And then it has, hold on, let me take this off. It's this um, really nice, thick zipper maybe you can put change in there or something it's lined and then in here it's also lined so it does detach so it's a really nice zipper on here too and it comes off so if you just want to carry it like that but I like it as a wristlet okay so I'm gonna be putting some fashion jewelry in here and this is actually really nice, you guys. I don't know if you can see the quality. It's really nice. 
vinyl. It's just great to, you know, throw on, throw in your purse when you're just heading to the store real quick, the Dollar Tree or something. Um, and, you know, it could be a good gift, too, because it's brand new. It is brand new. So I'm going to be filling it with some fashion jewelry, just some simple fashion jewelry. Uh, it's going to be a surprise. But, like, um, well, I have some here, but I kind of want it to be a surprise, you guys. So uh, I'll be filling it with that fashion jewelry. So for the first person, let's see, do I want to do the number system or... Oh, that's good for, like, college kids, too. Um, I know most college kids probably just stick their debit card in their pocket or something and their, you know, and their cell phone. But, um, you know, if they have to go shopping, it'd be good. Oh, how nice of him. I keep, I'm on the hunt for, like, another purse. So I'm still using the same one, but. Anyways, okay, so let me write down. I think I want to do the number because that seems to be the best way to handle it. Oh. And okay. I'm going to write it down. Um, let's see, there's only 16 people in here. All right, so let's do it from 25. We'll just say 25 to 55. Okay, enter one number only. One number only. Oh, how nice of him. Okay, start, you guys. Pick a number between 25 and 55. Only one number. Let me, I don't know if I should tear it from here. Okay, you guys are ready. Okay. Only pick once. I'm trying to think of a number. Hold on. Oh, I didn't even stick with my own rules. Yeah, I think I want that number. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Kim. <laughs> okay, let's see. Is everyone got their number in? Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's 17 of you guys, okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Sarah, Sarah, stop. I don't know what you're doing, but stop. Get down and get down. Get down. They are so annoying me tonight. I can't tell you. <laughs> okay, that must be it. So. I tore two pieces of paper. I didn't want to do that. Oh, no, I didn't. Did I? No. Oh, well. The number is 53. I think someone picked exactly that number. Hold on. Let me go back. Oh, I believe it's Francis. Yeah. 
Oh, Pat, you were close. <laughs> oh my goodness. Francis, you won. My dogs have been acting crazy today too. Thank you, Francis. Congratulations. Like I said, it's brand new. I use I use a coating here, but it is lined, which is kind of nice. I like the lining. So I'm gonna be setting that. <laughs> Let me write that down before I forget. 53, the number. Number 53. Okay, Francis. Um, wristlet. I'll just say wallet with fashion jewelry. Zero. Prize winning. Okay, congratulations, yay. It's gonna be a big one because, you know, sometimes it's nice to do little ones here and there, but I kind of wanted to do something bigger and I think filling this would be nice and it's new. So, I mean, you could seriously regift it and put maybe some makeup in it for somebody, who knows, you know? Thank you, thank you. All right, let's get on with this. Since it's, it seems to be going good here, right? The no buffering. <laughs> so let me take advantage of it. Where are those? Oh, yes. Um, these are, my dad thinks these are Zuni. Uh, and they are a shadow box post that has a bear claw and it's oxidized underneath so you can see the cutout of the bear claw with um, turquoise that sawtooth bezel around it. I'm just going to show you. With the two feathers dangling. With the two feathers dangling. <laughs> this is beautiful. Oh, I love them. So they are a shadow. Um, let's see. Let me hold it like that. Like that. So you can see. See how thick they are? They're hollow. Shadow box. The cutout is the bear claw with the turquoise there, and um, it looks to be sawtooth around it. Others believe these to be Zuni. I love these. Sierra. Oh, meatball, I mean. What are you doing? Huh? So we got Sleeping Beauty. We have Shadow Box Post Part. And then we have um, these were Zuni. So in length, these are. These are. Two and one quarter, and they are fifty dollars. Typical.